Welcome back to Cash Budget Insights, where I am working on seeing if this whole cash budgeting thing really works. I'm personally tracking every dollar using a zero-based budget due to my daughter's chronic illness, as well as controlling some of my own emotional impulse spending on the really hard days. I would love to have you give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. That's a free way to throw a little support my way and help this channel grow. If you haven't heard it today, I want you to know you're awesome, you're valuable, and you have a purpose. Now let's dive in. Well, happy Monday. It's a little bit more sunny today, so hopefully the lighting on the video is good. I have my desk set up right in front of a window because that's just how I prefer to work. So sometimes I get shadows and the light shifts, but to me, the ambiance of my space for recording here is just a little happier for me to be able to look outside. Um, even on the dreary days, I just love nature. I love trees. I love bird watching all the things, so it's fun to glance out every once in a while and see what's going on in the outside world. Well, today I am going to be doing what I consider to be online spending reconciliation. So I use my online spending worksheet, which you can find linked down below in my Kofi shop. Basically, I do this every single Monday, every single week. I go back and I just look through any transactions I made that should have actually come from my cash envelopes. I will then pull that money and put it back to the bank. So that's what we're going to do first. Now I do have some money already in my cash tray here. And the reason is $13. I actually contributed to my Christmas fund from doing my savings challenge with you guys last week. I recently made the decision to have long-term sinking funds. So sinking funds like subscriptions that only come out one time a year, as well as holidays. I've transferred to prop money. The reason is, is because of interest rates on our high yield savings account. I'm able to actually keep the cash in the bank and you know, it adds up when you, when you have enough in there, you're making money on your money. So I really want to take advantage of that. And that is why I'm choosing to use prop money, at least for the month of February. And I'm going to need to put this $13 back to the bank. I also have two fifties here, sort of for the same reason. When I was stuffing my envelopes with you guys last week as well, I found that my medical envelope had $100. So I went ahead and upgraded my placeholder to a $200 placeholder, and I'm gonna put this 100 back in the bank. So in addition to the online spending worksheet that I fill out and the money I pull from these envelopes, we have a little bit extra here this week due to some decisions I made to try to get that money back to the bank. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jot down some of the spending and the transactions that I know that we need to get back to the bank. So the first one is from pharmacy. So I was wondering what I had this really weird transaction come up. Um, description is gonna be Amazon and it is gonna be the envelope pharmacy. And from this envelope, I'm gonna to need to take um, $5. So that is just gonna be an even five that goes back to the bank. I could not figure out for the longest time what this transaction was. And I forgot that Amazon Pharmacy has a membership that you can purchase to get reduced rates on your prescriptions. Not all prescriptions, but some. And it just kept showing up as a $5 transaction last month and this month. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just put that in miscellaneous, $5, not sure what that is finally figured it out. So I'm actually going to remove that from my pharmacy category because that's really to me what it applies to. All right. The next one we have is YMCA swimming lessons for my youngest. These just came available and I'm going to take this out of the kids folder or I keep saying folder and envelope interchangeably. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. This was an even $25. So I've got that marked down. Okay. Then we have supplements for my daughter. So I had to get her some more. It's called Cryptolepis, in case you guys are interested. And I cannot supplement, <laughs> cannot write and talk at the same time. This is also going to come from Pharmacy. And this is going to be, let's see, it was $79.98. So we're going to round up to $80. So I can already tell you I don't have enough money to cover that in Pharmacy. So I'm probably going to have to do an IOU when I stuff my envelopes. Uh, the next one is going to be Epic Games. And this is like a uh, service my kids play on for Fortnite. I'm sure if you guys have young kids, you've heard of that game as well. And my son bought skins. I don't know why you need to buy skins. I don't understand all of the things. Um, this one is kind of unique because it was $25 and this was money he earned at his grandma's. And I actually have it. 
right here um, that he gave me earlier, so I can add that. So this won't actually come from our envelopes, but it was an online purchase and he just gave me the cash for it. So I need to get that back to the bank because I used our checking account to purchase that. Okay, and then next we have a book from Dr. Jill Krista that I am reading. Um, I'm sorry, it's not a book. It was actually an online class. Ugh, I'm not really sure where to put it. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in medical because it was actually, it was like an hour and a half class on toxicity and how to detox, which I never thought I would be interested in, but it was actually a fascinating class. Um, it was $53.10, and I think I am going to just put 53 back from medical. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that one as medical because, ugh, I mean, that's kind of like I wouldn't have looked that up if it wasn't for my daughter. You know what I mean? OK, so then we had some dental transactions. So first one we have is $16 and I spent some cash at the dentist office, but I miscalculated and I was $16 short. It was really weird. I don't know what I was thinking. So $16 of my son's teeth getting pulled had to go on my credit card, which I guess we'll just put it back now. Um, and then we have $65.78. This was for a water pick <laughs> that I needed to get my oldest son who just got braces. Um, and I decided to put this under dental as well. So yeah, you can't really floss when you have braces. So I said, you know what, we'll just get you a water pick. And he's freaking out about um, the braces, like leaving stains on his teeth and like looking all weird. So he's been, you know, I'm totally fine with it. I'm like, hey, oral hygiene, I'm good. You're a teenager. This is great, um, whatever it takes. So if he wants to use a water pick, I don't have a problem investing in that. And it has like multiple heads on it so we can all use it um, as long. Please, I hope all the, I'm gonna really need to train the kids, like take the water pick head off and put your own color on because that is nasty. Like if we're all using the same water pick, <laughs> I'm going to hide mine and <laughs> bring it in when I need to. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, Aldi grocery is $126.54. I stocked up on a lot of groceries. Um, I got a lot of canned goods. I got a lot of soft foods for my son that I just didn't have on hand to kind of help him. He's been really having a rough time this first week of having his braces. And he's like, mom, I don't know what to eat. I just like can't even eat anything. My mouth hurts so bad. So I got like applesauce, yogurt. I got like these, um, I think they're called Annie's ravioli. So they're like organic, like the organic ravioli that is a little bit softer for him to eat. Um, so I think that's helped a little bit, but he's just like, braces have like whooped him. I don't think he knew what to expect. Um, and so I think he didn't realize how uncomfortable his mouth would be and how difficult it would be to eat. Um, but I told him it only lasts for a little bit and he'll be all right. He will be all right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight like items. Actually, first, let me go ahead and write my categories here. So we'll have pharmacy, kids, medical, Always, always pharmacy and medical, Ugh, dental and grocery. So that's not too bad. I don't feel too bad about this. Um, so let me go ahead and highlight these. I like to highlight them. It just helps me, I don't know, visually to see them in light colors. And then like when I add them up and when I refer back to this, it's just a little easier for me, I guess. So. All right, let's see. I'll just Oh, do I have green? I think I have enough green in here. We'll do kids green. I haven't been very, um, I don't know, like uniform and making sure that these are the same colors every time. Okay, um, we'll do medical. Medical, what else? Was that the only one? Oh, I had two dental. That's what I was thinking of. All right. Ooh, I've got a lot of, I just keep kind of blind drawing these. Um, all right. Dental. And then the water pick I'm going to put under dental. And I totally forgot to highlight these down here. And then after that, I think we just have grocery. So not too bad. Not too bad. I can handle this. 
All right, and then grocery. Uh, I usually do. Sorry, I keep hitting that. It's making a loud noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, so these three are going to be grocery, 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 grocery. Okay, let me go ahead and total these up really quick. Okay, so we have pharmacy, which is going to be, well, 85. I guess it's, I can add that one in my head. So pharmacy will be 85. Kids is 25. I've got easy math, easy math. Okay, this is going to be 53 for medical. Okay, um, 16 plus 66 is going to be 82 for dental. And then our grocery is 127 plus 60 plus 105 which is 292. Okay, so in total, let me add these up. Plus we have 25 plus 13 plus 100. Okay, it should be 625, but I will double check when we get done. So let's go ahead and get started pulling these out. Okay, let's start with, well, let's go ahead and start with grocery. I don't know if I have, we'll see what I have in here. I should be able to do it. Hey, on an exciting note, I didn't spend any fun money. Typically that's like the first to go. All right, let's see what we have in grocery. So I need 292 and I have 325. Okay, so I should have $33 left in here when all is said and done. So I think what I can do is just do two fives and I'll grab these three ones and we're gonna put 20 and our hundreds in. Okay, so then that would leave me, oops, I should have kept a 20, my bad. 20, 30, one, two, three. Okay, so that's what I still have in grocery, $33. Yikes, I hope that I can make that last. Okay, so that takes care of Grocery, 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 grocery. Wonderful. I'm avoiding all the, I don't want to, like you ever have that where you're like, oh, I don't want to deal with these. I don't want to deal with dental, medical, or pharmacy because I know I probably don't have enough in there to cover that. Okay, kids, I need 25. So 25 and we still have 25 in here, which is wonderful. And that takes care of my wallet if I can get this open. Okay, so let me set that aside. So that is kids and kids. Okay, um, Epic Games, we took care of that because that was my son's chore money he made from grandma. Okay, so oh, I have to deal with these. All right, let's see what's going on with dental. Actually, medical, let's do medical. Okay, medical, I need 53. So 20, 30, oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, hold on, let me see what I have in here. I have 200 and then 20, 34. And we need to give back 53. So I thought this might happen. Let's exchange this. So we're gonna have 100 and two, four, six, eight, one. 181 is what is left in medical. I'm gonna leave this out for a second because I also need to contend with pharmacy. And I think whatever I don't have in pharmacy, I'm gonna try to take from my medical. So pharmacy is 85, I have 50, so I still need 20. Mm, what can I do here? 40 and then I am going to get back five from the bank here. So 20, 50. Okay. So pharmacy. Um, so I paid 50 and then I had to borrow 35 from our medical. So medical now has 120. 35, six. Okay, 136 in medical. So 
I'll put this back away and I'm not really sure what went on in here, but these got a little wonky, didn't they? Tomorrow I am getting my son's haircut, so I will have that to contend with. Um, all right, so those are done. Okay, so that took care of really everything we needed, right? Let's see, pharmacy and pharmacy. Oh no, we have to do dental. Oh no. Okay, dental. Okay, this will be an interesting one because that, I believe, has prop money. Let me make sure. Yes, it does. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what am I going to do? That is more of a question than a statement. <laughs> okay, so for dental, um, currently I only have 100 and it looks like 16 in here. So I am going to, okay, so for dental, I think what I'm going to do, I had to get myself changed. So now I only have 20, 35 in dental. So this just serves as a visual for me to kind of know what I have in here. Now that dental money is actually in the bank. So I am able to just, instead of moving things around, just track it. And then I also have it visually represented in my binder. For me, that's just what I'm doing for February. I'm not sure that like I wouldn't endorse the system. I'm still trying it out, seeing if I like it. So that does mean that this 625 is going to actually be minus $82 short. So it is actually going to be, let me do 82 prop because that's going to be already in the bank. So we're down to 543. All right, so assuming that I did everything right, and I always catch stuff when I edit, so I may not have, I do want to try to cash condense some of my savings challenge envelopes really quick before I take this stuff back to the bank. So my Monstrous only has eight, so that one I can't do anything with. Grumpy Cat only has 10, so he's good. Parks and Rec has 11 so there's nothing I can do there this one I'm gonna recount because I think there is a hundred in here 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 95 1 2 3 4 5 yes so we will grab a hundred for that that will definitely lighten the load okay I think I didn't give myself a spot for tens but that's all right there we go okay so that will go in our Fox challenge. Wow, that's really saved a lot. Um, here I only have nine. Let me see. Yep, okay. I wasn't sure if it was all ones, but nope. It is just nine. Okay, so then don't let the muggles get you down. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 46. So we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 and 20. Okay, so we're going to do 20 there and 20 here. So we'll 5, 10, 15, and then five ones will equal 20. Okay, much, much better. This is always a wonderful feeling. So I think comboing a uh, condensing of this alongside of online reconciliation is great. All right, I've got two fives. I'm gonna just throw a 10 in here for our little pigs. Okay, and I think this one was just five. So I'll grab a five, I better check. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. I assumed it was, but kind of remembered, ooh, that one's kinda. Yikes, what do I have? Do I have any that are not like mutilated? If anything makes me want to just switch to prop money, it's how disgusting this money is. <laughs> I'm like, maybe prop money is not so terrible. Okay, um, and those two are empty. Okay, so that is all I can do. Let me put this back up here and we'll get these back put away. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. We went ahead and pulled out all the cash that we could to put back into the bank for online transactions. And I am really considering trying to do, what if I did all prop money for March? I'm very interested on if that would work and still have the same effect. 
One, it's cleaner because this is kind of gross. Two, it would completely eliminate this step of my budget of online spending. One of my biggest reasons for starting this though, and I'm just totally like rabbit trailing here. One of my biggest reasons for starting this was to control my online spending. And part of the reason I loved this was because it really made me stop and think, do I really want to go through all of the work to track my online spending? And here I am already trying to find ways to like eliminate this process. <laughs> so I'm kind of, it's a slippery slope, right? Like if, if I eliminate this process by using prop money, and I'm just posing this as a question, you guys let me know. If I eliminate this step and I use prop money, I think there's a lot of benefits to it. Like you're still feeling the money leave. Um, although I will say there is something different from prop money versus real money. Like I know the difference. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can hear it. Um, so there is something like mentally different using prop money, but it is so much more convenient and easy um, to not have to go to the bank multiple times. And it's just like hygienic, right? So, ooh, I don't know. It might be something I need to explore for March. That might be an interesting experiment to see if I feel like I get the same feels and results as using real money. I'm very, very interested to hear if you guys have tried that because, ooh, I just don't know. I would really have to think through it because I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it would semi-eliminate this step, but I guess not really because I would still pull the prop money out um, and then just like keep it, you know, I don't know, just like keep it out. <laughs> I don't know because I wouldn't put it back in the bank. Um, hmm, interesting. I might try that for March because, you know, that's what I like to do here, change things up try different things, try different perspectives and different ways of doing things. Yeah, that might be an interesting thing to try. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but yeah. Hmm. <laughs> curious. Curious. I'm just a curious mind. I love to try multiple things. Um, but yeah, so we did this. This is what we did for February. I'm going to go put this back in the bank, deposit this money, and we'll start again next week. So for now, that's all I have. I'll see you next time. Shows if I'm on it.